Now, Kenya is set to join the League of Semiconductors and Microchips Manufacturers and Exporters following a deal that has been signed to set up a facility at the Dedan Kemadi Science and Technology Park in Nyeri County. An Australian developer of green supply chain infrastructure and semiconductors technologies, LLC, are investing 14.85 billion shillings in construction of the facility that is expected to start operations by mid next year. A deal has been signed for investment of 54 billion shillings in the construction and development of semiconductors and microchips in Africa over the next six years. The first two of such facilities will be constructed at the Dedan Kimadi Science and Technology Park in Nyeri County. Technology are extremely complicated, sometimes extremely expensive, and they actually require uh, developers that have a keen eye on energy, on operating cost, on the real estate, on the green spaces, because we are looking to be the premier manufacturer of green semiconductors in the continent. What makes SDL in Kenya, in Dead and Kimathi unique is because we are on the equator, which means we do not suffer the extremes of, of climate. The 14.85 billion shillings project in Kenya is expected to drive the country's green industrialization goals, transformative supply chain diversification, job creation, and the advancement of Kenya's position as Africa's silicon savanna. Um, the total value of that is about 400 million US dollars in, about, in debt and equity um, over the next 10 years. One of the things that sets Ivo apart from other developers and financiers or real estate assets, specifically industrial, is that environmental sustainability is at the core of what we do and so we've committed by 2040 to have net zero emissions operational emissions and i'm talking about scope two and scope three indirect and direct emissions by 2040. Continuing CTI's mission to not only promote workforce development but also demystify science and empower Africans. Frederick Moki for Easy Friday.